Hey everybody, welcome to Ken Knows Gambling. It is Crappy Sunday. Time for another craps video and ladies and gentlemen, Waylon from down there in Alabama has struck again. <laughs> he gave me a, a new strategy. I don't even know what he's calling it. Uh, you know, maybe he'll comment to me, let me know. But it's he's laying a four and he's using a deal invert with a twist. And when we get over to the table, I'll sort of explain what he's doing. I'm going to roll it. Um, it's a don't strategy. It's simple. You know, everybody, I love don't. I love simple. Uh, and I love things that make sense. Now, again, as always, even though it's Waylon, and I love Waylon to death, doesn't mean I'd play it. Doesn't mean I wouldn't. I'm just over there rolling a strategy that is simple. Uh, I see the potential in it both ways. Uh, but anyway, I'll talk more at the table. So we're going to do that. And, oh, uh, all you sports bettors over there, go to my site. i got to change up. My job is going to get crazy for the next few months. So I've got a note for you guys over at uh, Ken Knows Gambling. Uh, go read that, and it'll explain everything so I don't have to waste time here. So anyway, let's go ahead and get over to the table, and let's do Waylon's uh, no four ladder. I guess we'll just call it that for right now. And so, without wasting any more time whatsoever, let's get to it. All right, everybody, we're back over here at the table, and uh, we're going to roll out Waylon's lay four. Uh, I'm going to call it the ladder, I guess, lay four ladder. He's going to use the deal invert, where you go up a unit uh, when you, when you uh, lose. But when he comes down, he's got to win whatever level he's at twice to go down. And I'll explain that as I roll it. He's starting out with $3,600 here. And I guess let's put this in camera shot. There's $200. There's $38. And then uh, he got about $20 in, in ones there. I'm going to try to pay the vigs as we go, too. Uh, just to make it right, because doing it this way, he will pay Vigs. And I don't think it would be right for us to just do this and go, yeah, I don't want to worry about the Vigs. Because the Vigs, if you're into a level 3, 4, 5, and the Vigs are 10, 20 bucks, yeah, we need to do it. Okay, no doubt about it. So, uh, we're going to roll this out. It's just, the reason I'm doing this is there's really two reasons. Number one, it's crappy Sunday. I want to roll something out, but I, I, I have decided to turn a new leaf, and I'm going back to my roots. Don't pass strategies, lay strategies, uh, simple. I love the K-I-S-S, keep it simple, stupid. This is so simple that it's going to bore the hell out of most people. Most people wouldn't be able to do this. Now, again, here's the caveat. All things win. All things lose. That's going to be my new model. I'm rolling this out for Waylon uh, because of those reasons I just gave you. I'm not saying that I would ever do it, but I'm not saying I ever won't. It's just I'm rolling it. Let's see what happens, okay? I'm doing it because it's a don't pass and it's simple. I love simple, uh, especially if it makes sense. So why is he laying the four? I guess you could lay the 10 too. It doesn't really matter. The four 10, he just said do the four. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, since there's three ways to make a four and six ways to make a seven, you got a two times chance better at rolling the seven. So that's why he's doing the deal limber. But remember, he has to win twice at any particular level before he can come down. Now, he usually starts out with $4,000, okay? And he tries to win $1,000. That would take me probably hours to get to a thousand dollar level because remember when we lay that four it's just seven or four seven or four it's on all the time i don't have to have the puck and there could be a bunch of rolls before a seven or four hits and it could take a long time just to win one time you see so like john at pro Craps said on one of his videos and like i said on my last video when you walk up to the table you have to have a strategy in mind. Are you swinging for the fence? Are you going to grind it? Do you want to make money for a show and dinner? What is your purpose? So instead of me coming to the purpose with, say, a $25,000 uh, 
I'm sorry, not 25 grand. Listen to me. A thousand dollar, which is 25 percent. When go, I'm going to use it today for this video. More is a, a a teaching thing, and I'm going to go for 200 lousy dollars so I can have dinner in the show. That's it. If I can get over that and that there has time, maybe I'll play a little bit more. But I don't need this video going forever. So I just want to get you uh, familiar with it. And let's see if we can win a $200 uh, win goal so we can have dinner and a show. We're starting it with 36, 37, 38, 20. All right, 38, 20. That's a weird amount, but that's what we're going to go with. All right, so without any further ado, let's get into it. Let's lay that four. Here we go. We want a seven. And there it is. First hit. Four, three, seven. It's going to pay 50 bucks. We're going to pay the $2 big. Uh, that's 10. How about 50, Ken? There's the 50. We'll just lay that back here. And beautiful. We get to just keep that there. Another seven. Oh, my Lanta. Seven, seven. There's 50 more bucks. We'll pay two more dollars to the house. Collect our 50. We'll keep it right there. There's boxcars. There's another seven. Jeez, Ken. Ken usually rolls a lot of sevens and elevens. Uh, it just happens to me that way when I'm rolling for some reason. There's a 50. We'll give some more juice. All right. There's 150. We may get to 200 very quick. But, hell, seven, seven, eight. that's what you want in this strategy. I love it. You, you're just, you know, of course, now, if you're not rolling sevens and you're rolling like six, six, eight, nine, six, eight, nine, you know, you'll sit there forever. But uh, that's the way it is, right? There's a nine. That's another nine. There's a ten. There's a six. There's a three. There's an eight. There's a six. There's a seven, six, one, seven. There's the 50 bucks. There's the $2 big. Y'all, yeah, we're up to the 251. So we're up to 200 right now. So we're going to keep rolling just to let's see if we can challenge this, uh, uh, this lay four um, strategy. We're up to 200 already. Our goal was 200, but that would make it too short of a video. So let's just keep going uh, until I decide to quit. There's a 10, 5-5. Five, five. There's another seven. You know, and like I said in my other video, all things win, all things lose. Right now, sevens are galore, and this thing looks like it's just shiny, shiny, shiny star. But those sevens could be fours just as easy. We could be up to level five by now. You, you just freaking don't know. I will tell you that I asked uh, Waylon, I don't know if I said this yet, What's the biggest level he got to? He said he's only, he's rolled this thousands of times and he's only got to level five out of eight levels. I rolled a sum last night. Uh, I, I won four or $500 each time. I never made it past three. Um, but, you know, it still, it doesn't mean you can't, right? Uh, so anyway, let's just keep going. Let's see if we can, I haven't even rolled a four yet. There it is. Boy, you just speak it into existence, right? So we're going to lose this 100. So we're going to go to level 2. Now remember, at that level, he has to win it twice. There's a 4. So we haven't had any 4s, and it looks like now they're going to come in groups. So now we're up to level 3. Just like that. So here we go. There's a 6. These dice are funny things, man. There's another six. Another six. Oh, my God. Three in a row. Another six. 
You see, that's like four sixes in a row, and somebody would bet me that can't happen. Yeah, you just saw it. You know, all things happen, man. It's just, that's what people don't understand. There's a 10, so that means I roll about three, four hard ways in a row, too. There's a yo. There's a six. There's a four. So see, when I was banging sevens, we were banging, banging sevens. Fours weren't coming. Now they're coming. So now Mr. Whalen is at level four. Now he says he's never been past level five. Well, let's see. Let's challenge this thing. There's a snake eye. There's a seven. All right. So we're going to win 200 here, but the big on 200 is going to be 10 bucks. So we're going to go ahead and pay that. And I'll just take the 200. So, but I got to win that one more time before I can go down to level three. There's a two. There's a seven. So we did. So we get to 200 there. We're going to pay the $10 house. Keep the money. Okay, go down to a level three. And if I can hit this level three, I put my... Uh, I put this back up uh, to where it was. Actually, I can do a little bit of it now. There's five. One, two, three, four. We'll put that right there. So I got a three, two, and a one to put back. So anyway, we're on level three. We need to win that twice. Well, there's a seven. There Ken goes back to banging these things. So three, that's a buck fifty. So we'll pay a big. It's actually about seven bucks or so, so we'll do that. Okay, we still have to win that one more time. Now, he never said what he didn't say. He says you have to win twice to go down. So I'm going to assume that means at any level on your way down. That's the way I'm going to do it. Wait a minute, if I'm wrong on that, you can tell me. But I'm going to assume as you come down, you got to win that level twice every time you hit the level. If that's not right, let me know. Because we never talked about that. So I'm just going to say that is for the moment. And uh, I could be wrong. There's an eight. There's a nine. There's a six. There's a five. There's a six hard. There's another six. There's a nine. And, and, and while we're while, while I'm here, I got a little break in the action here. What you saw is like when I first started, seven something, seven, seven. I was just rolling sevens as fast as I could. There wasn't a four in sight. Then all of a sudden I wrote a pocket of fours. Uh, you know, so we talk about streaks. Uh, I know there's a lot of people that don't, you know, uh, when you start talking about uh, uh, tweaks and, 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 you know, things happening, no, you know, they don't believe in trends. That's the word I was searching for. I'm just too damn old. No such thing as trends. Yeah, there is. I was trending seven. I was trending not throwing fours. Then all of a sudden it was four, four, four. Yes, there are trends. Now, the deal to that is can you capitalize on it? Because you don't know it until you're in it. Anyway, that's another topic. I don't even want to really, I don't know why I went down that rabbit trail. But anyway, you get to see trends. They do happen. Don't care what you say. All right. So we got to win this. Uh, you know what? I don't, I don't know if I won the first level on three or not because I'm running my mouth. There's a five. Maybe I can just lose and go back up a level and I'll know where I'm at again, right? Eight. Because I know I just paid a buck fifty just now. There's a five, so I think all I got to do is hit this one more time. There's a five. There's a six. 
All right, here comes a seven. Nope, three. I'd be a genius if I could do that, right? I'm gonna do this, just have fun. I'm gonna set this at a, a reverse 3V, man. There it is. I'm gonna set it like that and I'm calling the seven. Now if that seven comes up, I would be just a, 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 a dice influencing God, wouldn't I? But I didn't do it. Ah, oh, well, crap. Gotta have fun, y'all. Even when I do these videos, I gotta start having some fun with this shit. Uh, hey, there's a three. Let's see if we can get another seven. There it is. Six one seven. So we get to have 150 bucks. And I think it's another about seven bucks or so. Should be close. All right, so we get to come down. Okay, and we get to have our 150, which was right there. I'm coming down. So let's go here. Let's go here. So there's four. Let's put three of them back. And then let's go ahead and change some of these. One, two, three, four. 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 There's three back. All right. I'm going to make sure I'm right with you. Okay. So there's level three put back. There's level two. And we still have that out there. So we, we've hit our goal. And that's really good. We, we get to do it without having a 45-minute video. But uh, we're at level two. And uh, uh, let's just see if we can win one time at level two. And I can wrap this up. Probably won't. I'll hit a four. Uh, but I may not go back up anyway because I've got my $200. What I came to the table to do was to show this to you. And win $200 to go see a dinner or go have dinner and a show. That was the goal. We hit the goal. We don't necessarily have to keep rolling at all. We've got, the, there's the seven. So we'll end it right here. That was a seven, y'all. I just rolled it. Y'all saw it. Because now that I brought my wall up, y'all can see everything to know I'm not cheating. So there's a seven. You win a hundred there. That's a $5 big. Boom. Let's bring it all back down. So we can close this video so we don't have to make it so long. All right. So there's the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We never went past four, level four. Okay. Let's count everything up. So there's a hundred. We started with 3820. There's a hundred. There's 36. There's 37. We'll go. There's 38. 36, 37, 38, and 20. 38, 20. That's what we started at. 36, 37, 38, 20. All right. That means all of this is what we won. Bring it down here. So we wanted $200 for dinner and a show. Well, there's that two. Okay. So we want two. Three, 350, 60, 70, 80, 95. So there is 395. There's five. 395. There's $400, $401. We won't count the one. We'll tip that back to the dealer. And he goes, Ooh, big freaking spender, Ken. <laughs> So, 400 bucks there. I don't know what the timestamp says, but it's a very good place to stop. So, recapping. Very simple. It's a don't. Ken knows gambling, loves don't system. I love don't. I love simple don't. And again, most people won't be able to play this. Couple reasons. They don't have the bankroll or they don't have the patience. They can't just sit there. With little action, you're waiting for a four or seven. But again, I'm telling you, sometimes the simplest systems are the best ones. I'm not advocating uh, this money management strategy, but I'm not saying no either. I'm rolling it for Waylon. Uh, all things win, all things lose, all that sort of thing. That's my new mantra. All things win, all things lose. We hit our goal, 400 bucks. Didn't take us that long. And uh, there you go. There you go, Waylon's Lay 4 with a Dia Limbert. And Waylon, uh, I'm sure you can comment and you can give me the real name for this thing. 
But there you go. Uh, I don't guess there's any more to... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to tell you one more thing. Talking about bankroll. Now, you can't... Probably 99 out of 100 times, depending on what casino you go into, they want you to probably lay at least 40 bucks up on a 4 or a 10, okay? To win 20. A lot of casinos want you to do at least that. Now... John, if you're watching this, you can tell me you're at that $5. Uh, you said there's a $5 casino. Can you uh, can you lay 20 to win 10? So if there is such an animal where you can lay 20 here to win 10, then that would probably be the lowest you could start. So your units would be 20, 40. 50, 60, and then 80, and then you just keep going up 20 at a time until you have eight levels. Uh, you could, as long as the table will let you do it, you can start at the lowest level they'll let you. But when you do that, now you start dealing with off increments. And unless you lay this out in your rack, you're going to get messed up. I think that's why Waylon just does it this way. One, two, three, four, five. Really simple. Uh, you can start with 50, 50, 100, 152. That would even be better than bringing reds in there. So in this strategy, you're going to have to have, you know, at least if you start with 50, you need a $2,000 bankroll uh, and so on and so forth. So you'll have to just ask your casino what not, what their lowest, what your unit is. But I think keeping it simple with blacks, if you have the bankroll, if you don't, drop to 50s. Uh, if you can, you still need a $2,000 bankroll, but you know what? I say it all the time. You know, you want to win more, bring more. Uh, if you don't have it, just keep grinding your way with whatever strategy you're doing until you can build it up. If you want to play it, uh, do so. All right. So anyway, there it is. Waylon's lay four uh, ladder, whatever he's going to call it. I, I, I hope he'll, he'll comment. Let me know what he calls it. But there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we made go, and uh, I like it because it's simple. All right, as always, if you guys got any comments, you know, suggestions, whatever, let me know. Uh, if you like this video, go ahead and give me the thumbs up. Uh, maybe consider subscribing to my channel on craps. I always keep it simple now. Don't pass strategies. Um, simple. So consider subscribing. We'll do more of those. I will eventually get into some more roulette, uh, baccarat. That sort of thing. I think John over at Pro Craps, his uh, his 24-hour marathon, I think he's going to ask me to do some roulette on my live hour with him. So, But anyway, I'll get into some of that later. Uh, anyway, best thing you can do for me, share this video. Share this video to anyone you think my channel will help. Until the next time, be great.